All right, we got Nick out here getting ready for the, his maiden flight on his ITV Piper. I just got done flying it, give it a little test run. And now we got Nick out here getting ready to send it for the first time. Easy freaking peasy. Well done, man. He spent quite a bit of time kiting it and just getting a feel for it. It's his first reflex wing. It's a little bit different than his core. But nailed the first launch. Alrighty, I'm gonna get ready and go fly with him. Give her help. So here's the plan for the day. We're trying to catch up to Nick. So he's flying his ITV Piper for the very first time. He's getting his maiden flight in right now. I took it up a little bit ago for the maiden flight. Did kind of my first impressions review. Now Nick's up, tooling around. So I'm trying to catch him. I am currently uh, trimmed all the way out, just trying to make up some time, make up some speed. So we're going to haul ass over there. So we can go uh, check out his new wing. Got Joko in front of me, cruising around as well. He's also got a new wing. I haven't flown it yet, but it's next on the to-do list. So right now, I have a feeling Jelko is trimmed all the way in. I am currently trimmed all the way out. He's flying a 22 meter sky blade, I believe. So uh, we'll see what kind of, how fast I can outrun him. I am currently smoking him. So, I am trying to catch up to Nick, and I'm actually struggling right now. He's booking right along. I'm not sure where his trims are right now. I would imagine probably either in or about 25%. But I'm actually struggling to catch up to him, which is awesome. He's been flying his core, the this Hadron just destroys it in the speed. Let's go say hi. So that Piper, it's it's an ENC wing, and it's a 25 meter, opposed to my Hadron 20 meter, and you know theoretically it's it's like an E and D, so kind of an intermediate compared to an advanced wing. But you know I'm pretty light on that wing, but it was impressive. The roll rate on it's really good when you're trimmed out using the tipster toggles. She'll get up and dance for you. So. I think for Nick, who's more in the middle of the weight range on that, is gonna have a lot of fun. It's a little more spicy than his core that he's been flying, but it's not so aggressive that I think it's gonna scare him or be too much of a wing. So I think it's gonna be a good fit. It is clearly faster than his core, and they're the same size of wing. So the Piper is a full reflex, it's got a much streamlined profile. It's got the shark nose. So it's gonna cut through quite a bit more. Again, I don't know where his trim's at, but I mean, I'm, I'm not catching him at all. I'm gonna have to dump freaking trims again here. Right. I just trimmed all the way out again, just to try to catch his ass. Right now I'm booking into the wind at about 36 miles an hour. And I don't seem to be catching him hardly at all. I'm sure we've left Joko in the dust. Sorry, bud. I think Nick's dead set on hitting freaking Lake Lowell again or something. Yeah, 
I'm legit. I don't think I'm even making any ground on him right now. Maybe a little bit. I wish it let me freaking catch up. I need to get calm with him so I can talk to him. Slow down, bro. I know you've never heard that before, but damn. It's a good looking wing. He was able to design all the colors. Had it custom made. Holy shit. Yeah, he's outrunning me right now. Yeah, I'm trimmed at about 70% on my Hadron. Yeah. And he is freaking running away from me. Man, that is a quick wing. Holy shit. All right. I'm gonna have to trim all the way out again. I wonder if he is trimmed out. Because he is freaking booking. Yeah, that is a quick wing. I wonder if he'd let me step on it again, like the core. Maybe his dad can try to kick my ass. <laughs> Stop that stupid thing before it lands on one of those pipes.